Welcome everybody to another vlog. Once again, based on an email sent to me. So somebody sent me an email and don't worry if you send me questions about career code, whatnot, I'm not going to publicly say your name. You'll be anonymous. No worries about that. So yeah, I'm wearing a hat because it's bloody cold and it's so cold and I got so many windows here. It's like I got 30 feet of windows overlooking the mountain. It's hard to keep the place pretty warm, so I actually wear a hat. Silly. I got to move to uh, California or Florida or something. I'm actually thinking of moving down to uh, California. Anyway, so here's a question that was put to me. I have no background in IT and no basics in computer science at all. Perfect. You don't have to unlearn anything. So that's one of the things when people are taught incorrectly... Sometimes it's harder for them to unlearn the bad training and it's easier for a teacher to have somebody who's totally new to teach them properly from the beginning. This is something I learned in martial arts, of course, or, uh, and in boxing. When you have people come in with real bad habits but that have been drilled in, to remove those bad habits, to rewire, to rewire the brain to put in good habits, it's more difficult than just starting them off fresh. All right, let's continue with the questions. I would like to learn coding and programming to be able to work freelance as I am currently in a wheelchair after an accident in 2000. So, is it possible and how long will it take? First question. So I sent an email back to this person and uh, so I'll just read out my quick answer. So how long is it going to take and is it possible? Yes, it's very possible. How long it takes, it depends on you, it depends on your personal capabilities and aptitudes, it depends on how much effort you put into it, it depends on uh, several factors, but it's very possible. How long will it take for you to get those skills? I've had several people tell me they've been up and running with front-end professional developer skills, basically being able to design any type of layout that they see on the web within a few weeks of doing my course. You learn very quickly with the studio web-based courses, my courses, because of the way that the lessons and the courses are structured, uh, they're mindful of how we learn as humans. And uh, that makes a big difference in terms of how quickly you can absorb the information. Next question. How do I go about getting work into the field once I have the basics? So I've talked about this in several vlogs. First thing you need to do is you've got to set up your own site showcasing your skills. Then what you do is you reach out to small business or people around you who want to start small businesses or may have a small business and build a site for them for free. You've got to consider your first one or two sites as part of the training. A lot of people go to these expensive boot camps that cost $10,000, $5,000 or more because they say, well, they're going to... They're going to send us to a stage where we're going to do, uh, learn how to build websites and web apps with real company. Well, if you follow my courses, which are a small fraction of $10,000, I'll show you, I show you how you'll be easily be able to find freebie work, stage work essentially, where you don't have to spend 10 grand or 5 grand on, it, on an expensive boot camp. In fact, once you have the basic skills and you follow what I teach step by step, you'll be able to find all kinds of freebie work for yourself. It's in the web space, in the web stack, especially if you get into PHP development or WordPress development, there's so much work, it's, it's unbelievable. She then asked me, can you help with this? That was the next question. Can you help with this? I said, yeah, sure, take my course. I teach you not only the basics, the core of the languages, something that I really concentrate on. I don't see other people do that out there. And then I also teach you job-ready skills. My courses stand out for several reasons, but one of the main things that I concentrate on is giving you real-world skill sets, not just academic skill sets. My concern is to get you up and running as quickly as possible to be able to build professional sites, to write professional code. Why? Because that's been my background for the last 20 years. She goes on to say, I am currently living in France, but I'd like to return home once I have the skills. Is that possible? Why not? You just got to, as I expressed in recent videos, put 
time every day to slowly learn the material. Let your mind, your brain fatigue, tell you how much you can learn per day. I'm jumping ahead to another question, but yeah, it's very possible. Next question, is there a timeline on the course? I'm not exactly sure what she means by that, but essentially the system is designed that you are able to work at your own pace. Now, it's not just a set of videos. It's the interactive training with the quizzing and the tracking and the built-in hinting. It's almost like having me sitting right beside you, tutoring as you go through. If you get confused, you can get hints, ask questions. It's really a highly refined system. Literally hundreds of thousands of students helped us to refine the studio web system and the course curriculum. So it's really self-paced. You can work at your own pace. So, so I have lots of people who are students and they're doing the studio web to super speed, if you will. They're coding. I have people who are approaching retirement and they want to learn something so they do this on the you know in the evenings and the weekends i have uh, stay-at-home moms who want to do this kind of stuff so you know make some money uh, as they're looking after the kids this is a great thing and people who are disabled who are not able to leave the house web development freelance web development is fantastic because you can work from home deal with your clients remotely. And in fact, one of the many reasons that I got into web development myself was that flexibility because, so I had a nearly fatal blood disease and I would have these bouts where I'd be very tired for weeks on end. So I needed a profession and a skill set that allowed me to just veg out for a week if I needed to, just to rest up. And web development and web design was the key to all that. Next question, how many hours a day do you recommend learning? Knowing that the brain can only take so much information at once. Perhaps you've been watching my previous videos. I typically recommend when you're starting off two to four hours per day when you first start. Again, you let your brain tell you when to stop. When you are starting to feel fatigued in the head, headaches, or information not sinking in, time to back away for an hour or two. Maybe the next day if you're really tired. And what will happen though is as you progress, you're going to be able to learn much more, much more quickly, simply because over the next week or two or three and later on months, your brain's going to slowly rewire itself, literally, so that it's more able to absorb the uh, coding and the programming information. The brain has to uh, just get used to things. So that's why I tell people you got to pace yourself, stay relaxed, drink water, lots of water, be rested. Don't try to push it through. And if you're having problems initially, that's normal. You just got to give your mind some time to just adapt to the situation. It's like when people want to become runners, long distance runners. You're not going to run the 10K race the first day and you're not going to run the marathon the first day. But slowly, slowly, you start with you know a half a kilometer, a kilometer, two kilometers, five kilometers, ten kilometers, and eventually it becomes pretty doable. Same thing with learning to code. You start off slowly. Don't get discouraged. Don't get discouraged if it's difficult at first. Just let it come. Let it come. It will. And next thing you know, you'll be writing all kinds of code. Next question. What do you recommend for the brain to focus more on the task and not get distracted with the monkey mind? She must be watching my videos. One of the things you have to do is you have to engage your brain. And so what we've done in Studio Web, in my courses, uh, the whole thing is gamified. It's kind of like playing a video game. You unlock levels, you score points, uh, there's hinting, and you earn badges and, and stuff like that. And this engages certain people. I also just make the uh, teaching fun. You'll see the way I structure my videos and the quizzing. It's quite a bit of fun. Another thing you could do is once you have at least the basics done, you've done maybe five, ten lessons, and you start understanding, at this point you will build like a very simple web page in HTML. And what you do is you start planning out the career that you're going to build with your skills, whether it be getting a job, whether it be becoming a freelancer, whether maybe you want to build your own site, start selling your own products, maybe you got an idea for an app or a dynamic website you want to build. And what you do is you start planning out that bigger project. 
very, not in terms of code, but in terms of business structure, or maybe planning out where, you know, start looking for employers you want to get jobs at. Uh, maybe start thinking about, you know, what would you want to call your freelance business? Where would you want to focus? You want to focus on uh, raw app development with PHP? Or maybe you want to get into WordPress development, theme development, or just become a WordPress professional. Start thinking about the business and start researching that. So what you're doing there is you're motivating yourself. You're giving your brain a, a long-term target or medium-term target. So it will start associating your career and your money making with the core training that you're getting with my courses or any courses. And then you can move forward that way. That is one of the ways to motivate yourself, to keep yourself focused. And again, if you're starting to drift off and lose focus after a half an hour, an hour, or two hours, or three hours, or whatever it is of coding, let your brain say, okay, it's time to take a little break. Let's, you know, let me assimilate this information. Let me process this information you expose me to. Well, how much is the course? Well, the normal price for my full stack course, I call it the IWD course, Interactive Web Developer. It's interactive because it's in Studio Web. It's like having a tutor sitting beside you. The normal price is 100 bucks. Uh, now it's on sale, it's the winter time, and check it out. Now you compare, even at its full price, you know, $99, $99.99, I think that's a pretty good price compared to $5,000 boot camp. And I've had people tell me they learn much quicker with mine. In fact, I got an email from somebody saying that they did $5,000 in courses at college, and they didn't learn one-tenth of what I taught them in a much shorter period of time. So I call that... A bargain. So, is your career worth or buying me a burger in a beer? I don't know. I think so. Well, there you go. That answers those questions. So, I hope this vlog answers questions that you may have had. I did this video because I'm thinking that a lot of people have very similar questions. I've had a similar life experience to her where she is confined to a wheelchair, where she's confined. Now, of course, I'm fortunate enough to, to have my legs still, but I, with my blood disease for several years, was in a situation where, though I've, I was managed to cure it through Chinese herbs, believe it or not, I still had to contend with, for a few years, with severe bouts of uh, extreme fatigue, almost like having mono. And so I was looking for a business where I didn't have to go to work every day, where I could work from home, where I had the flexibility to be able to work when I had the energy and I could rest when I didn't have the energy. And web development today is just as capable in that regard, or how should I put that? Web development provides that opportunity today just as much as it did back then. And in fact, even more today because so many websites are small business websites, and a lot of them have needs for professional web developers, which includes coders and designers and SEO, SEM, social media integration, WordPress uh, integration, WordPress uh, professional work where you install it and configure it and all kinds of other things. Web design is an interesting thing, which I've been at since the 90s, it shifts over time in terms of the skill sets, in terms of what exactly you're bringing to the table as a web professional. It changes. It's, in fact, getting easier in some respects, but much more complex in other respects. Web professionals these days have a hybrid set of skills, if you will, and it's just something that's going to be viable for many, many, many years to come although its focus is going to shift over time as it has since its inception in the 90s. So there you go. All right, that's it. Bye-bye.